Hey everybody, uh, Chris Cooley Outdoors here. Now I got the Daria TM22. Uh, still got this Holosun sight on here. Uh, we just finished zeroing it in the last video. Uh, or, well, zeroing as much as we can, you know, right, with the uh, with a little red dot and, and whatever. And So, I don't know, it was like 20 yards, 25 yards. Pretty much perfect for gopher shooting, you know. Plinking, you know, it's pretty average. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do an ammo test. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got 10. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I got 12 targets. We're gonna shoot 10 of them. Uh, we're gonna try to reroll 10 rounds a piece. They're a little bit smaller but than, than these targets but uh, should give us a good idea of what we're gonna have. So uh, we're just gonna do 10 round mag, gonna take my time, squeeze off nice and easy. So first we are starting off with that cellular bellet again, just cause it's our base. Um, I'm gonna be shooting the, the top left and then the second one in, the third one in, and then it would be the top right. And then the next one, it would just be like reading a book. So uh we'll just do some grouping and we'll see what's accurate what's not obviously my accuracy is going to be a part of it but we'll see what we can get out of it and uh see what we're gonna get for reliability and stuff like that so um yeah should be a, should be a good video All right, so that's uh, that's that. I'm gonna give it a minute here, basically the time it takes me to reload the next batch. I have two mags loaded, but I'm just kinda try to give it some time to uh, get set up or kinda whatever keep as things as consistent as possible so um so yeah that was a cellular ballot can't quite tell it's a dark target again or but i do know that i can see something so i maybe had one flyer from here it's hard to tell but it looks like most of it's in the black which i would say on these small targets that's a good thing that's that's a that's like a gopher head Okay, so this next one, uh, we're going to be shooting the Federal Premium Small Game 40 grain match hollow point. Uh, it has a muzzle velocity of 1200 feet per second. Yeah, I've shot this stuff in other guns and I have not been impressed with the accuracy out of it. I don't know why. It... Uh, Coming from Federal and Federal Premium line, I'm, I'm expecting good things, right? Because Federal Premium is good stuff, or at least it has been for me. So maybe uh, maybe it's just the guns I've been shooting that don't like it. So we'll uh, give this stuff a try. Again, another 40 grain bullet, so should be pretty consistent. Well, you definitely tell that's got a little more rip to it.
Yeah, definitely gets down there with authority. Complete. Well, they all fired, so that's that's a good thing. Uh, we will just get the next one going here. But we're gonna have to change battery here soon. But uh, oh well. This is just fun. It's nice. It's not cold. Just quite and quite enjoying my my Saturday evening here at the gun range. It's like not quite midnight yet, but I, uh, I'm a bit of a night owl, so I like shooting shooting in the evening and stuff. So it's a lot nicer, especially this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna be coming out here quite a bit. Okay, so this next box is the Aguila 22 Super Maximum 30 green uh, long rifle hyper velocity solid point this is stuff at 1700 so if we thought that 1200 feet per second stuff that federal stuff was ripping um, I think we got uh, another thing coming we got, uh, let's gonna clean up a little bit of this brass. I don't have to do so much later, but um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be, I have a feeling it's gonna be snappy, but it also might shoot a little high. So I'm kind of worried about if it's gonna hit paper, but uh, if it doesn't, I'll let you all know. All right. Oh yeah, you can never tell that. Just a little high, I can see where it went. Oh, stuff's a little stinky. Yeah, that stuff's definitely cooking. Sparks. I know there's stuff that fell from my hand and whatever, so. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, it's that 30 grain. It's ripping. I, I never had really good accuracy with it before. Oh, man, I only got 10 rounds of this other stuff left. I wanted to do a test with the with a different gun, but... I guess I will not have to. It'll be one of the ones where I don't. Uh, this, yeah, is what it is. So, um, but uh, yeah, no, we're. Uh, I, I haven't looked yet. This is the interesting part about not actually going down there and, and looking every time. Not trying to make adjustments. Not trying to whatever. Just shooting and just having a blast. So that is garbage. All right, so this stuff we're shooting. Oh, I should probably keep that off so I can remember. Uh, 
So this stuff that we're shooting, this next box is a SK Standard Plus 22 long rifle. Uh, I don't know how many grains. It box is pretty nondescript. Uh, so this is the fourth one. So this is the top, the end of the top row. So, No, oh, didn't lock back. All right. So, yeah, that stuff definitely felt softer. So, I, I don't know if it has enough jam in there, enough jam in its jelly there to uh, to make it work really good. But um, I don't really see a lot of outside stuff, so. Might have shot all right, I'm hoping. So let's get the next batch here set up. So this next stuff we're gonna be shooting is, again, it's an Aguila. It's a 22 HP, super extra hollow point, 38 green. Um, it's a copper plated, high velocity. Yeah, doesn't really say. 1,280 feet per second. So it's a little higher than uh, uh, than that Federal Premium high velocity stuff we were shooting. So we will uh, we will see. So. Okay, this is the second row. Should be a little snap here. Yep. That was just off the center. Or Okay, right. well, that's her. Yeah, I realized I didn't even bring any Ely stuff today. Yeah, I guess we're trying some different stuff. Oh well. Uh, this next stuff's gonna be kind of fun. It's uh, it's different. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's some crazy weird stuff. I have not seen it in a long time. Not the stuff I'm holding on to right now, but. Um, 
yeah, I haven't seen this. I haven't been able to find it. So this next step we're shooting is called Snipe Subsonic. It's a 60 grain full lead. It is going 950 feet per second. This thing has got an absolutely massive bullet and a shortened uh, case. Uh, I've shot this stuff in my Glock and it actually cycled. Um, so I don't know if it's going to cycle. I mean, we were seeing a little issue with that SK, like not enough, like enough to cycle it, but not enough to lock it back. So, like, I don't know if you guys can see like how much case there is compared to how much bullet, but yeah, that's significant. I mean, these things you could probably almost bat out of the air. All right, so we are second row, second one from the left. Ooh, it has some smell to it. Wow, look at that. Look, look at these little things. Ha! That was hot. Hot, 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 hot. Very warm. They're all very, very warm. Yeah, they're tiny. They're just cute little pieces of brass. People would be like, what are you shooting? Like, snipe subsonic? Why do you ask? Okay. Oh. Next set here going. Got four left, so two thirds done now of what I got. So we will. Uh, I'm, I'm actually really curious to see. I'm actually, from what I can see from here. I'm pretty impressed. Pretty impressed. Wow. I mean, we've gone how many rounds so far without any really issues. So we're gonna shoot some Hornady. 40 grain lead round nose at 1070. It's the Varmint Express. So. Give this stuff a try. Sorry about that. Uh, we were rudely interrupted by my GoPro camera dying. Uh, just got a new battery in it. All I did is I took out the mag, cleared the gun, and uh, put a new battery in. And uh, yeah, we're back in action. So we will uh, finish off what we were doing here. So I'm just going to double check. So one. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So one, two, three, yeah. Okay, so I know where we're at again. Probably need to do that. I was wondering if I had or not. Okay. Well, that was that. Okay, so the next one. This is stuff I have not tried. Holy. Does not want to come out very nice. There's no speed reload in this stuff. Okay, just give me a minute here to quick the loader up. Get after it. Okay, so this stuff we're shooting is the Varmint Express 40 grain copper plated hollow point with 1160 feet per second. So a little bit warmer and a hollow point. And uh, yeah. That's the other stuff with lead round nose. This is co copper plated, so should be interesting. I before I haven't had a lot of luck with consistency with this Hornady stuff, which is odd because Hornady stuff's usually pretty good. But we'll uh, see how the old Daria likes it. Definitely a little hotter. Oh, that's the 10. Alright, load up the last stuff. That's definitely a lot easier to shoot, pull. Yeah, it's kind of odd I didn't have any of my Ely stuff. My case, I had it loaded up the other day for other stuff, and then 
I was like, oh, yeah, there's a bunch of random stuff in there, but I got a few other different ones I could try. 22 ammo's get really hard to find, so, um, but most of this random stuff I bought for this kind of purpose is just to test and shoot it. Okay, so this uh, second last one we're gonna do is the first 10 rounds of this stuff that I've ever shot, and I'm really excited. I've been wanting to do an actual video on this ever since it came out, and then I just, just didn't really know how to how to go about it the right way this is the federal premium the punch it's a flat nose 29 green uh from what i understand this is their personal defense stuff this stuff has a thousand and seventy feet per second but it says velocity is achieved through a two inch barrel so that would be like here so we got a little bit more than that so i'm imagining we're going to get a little more velocity out of it i really wanted to try this in the that vector with that like what was it like a four in four and a half inch barrel or whatever it is it's ridiculously short but it's such a nice compact little little setup that this stuff should shine quite well or a pistol um, I think that's what it's designed for. It's supposed to be able to go through stuff. So, uh, for that, you know, I think that personal defense market, especially in the States, right? I mean, Canada, we're not allowed to do personal defense, so it doesn't really matter. I'm more just curious about seeing how it shoots, see if it's consistent and whatever else. Um, but yeah, in the States, like, you can buy a 22. I mean, and you may, you might pay a premium for this ammo, but at least you got something you can defend yourself with potentially if you had to uh whereas like maybe buy a nine mil or a 40 or 45 or whatever or maybe just ammo availability is just out of, out of your range or your price range so i think maybe that's what federal's trying to get in on here is on that market so let's uh let's see how the federal punch goes i mean again it has that nickel plated case makes it a little easier to see if press checks if that's what you're into um yeah so i mean let's just it's got a little flat nose i mean that's a it's a nice it's a pretty little round it's a pretty little round okay so we're on the bottom row now it's the bottom row to the left hopefully this stuff hits paper i want to see how it shoots that is loud You know, it's going to be my luck. This stuff's going to shoot the best out of this gun. I'm a sucker for finding the ammo that works and then having to stick with it. Like, just look at my, uh... Twenty-two wind mag. And a T-bolt. Stuff it likes is warranty critical defense. It's ridiculously expensive. All right. I think maybe I had one flyer on that. A little high, but hard to tell. Looks definitely looks like a flyer from here. So uh, this last stuff, we'll just give it a minute here while I introduce it. I guess. Maybe do a little cleanup. Um, yeah, this last stuff we're gonna be shooting is the Winchester Silver Tip Power to Defend. It's a 37 grain plated segmenting hollow point, but it is optimized for handguns. Well, we're gonna try it not in a handgun today. Um, this stuff is rated for 1,060 feet per second, 
out of a three and a half inch barrel. So again, I think this is Winchester's version of their self-defense if ish kind of round, except we got a segmenting hollow point versus a flat nose. So yeah. We're gonna we're gonna check this out and then we'll uh go pull the card and see what we did, how we did. Just didn't feel very stable. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave that mag in there because it's empty and it keeps the bolt locked open. So we will. Uh, that's the that's the 80 rounds of that stuff tested. So we will. Uh, I'll go get the target, and I'll come back and uh, we'll uh, have a look at the results. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back. So, I gotta say, if this gun does not impress you, then uh, I don't know what you're looking for in a in a 22. Like you gotta remember, this is a red dot on a pad. So, like this was a cellular billet, and uh, I mean. That's a dead gopher head every time. This was probably the best I've ever shot out of this Federal Premium, that uh, small game uh, match hollow point stuff. And then we had that Super Maximum uh, Aguila, that 30 grain stuff that's like 1700 feet per second. For the most part it was there, they had a couple that kind of started screaming. And then uh, this was the, that SK, it's made by Lapua. It actually grew pretty good. And then uh, so again we had some Aguila stuff here. That's not bad for 10 rounds, I would say. That's that super extra hollow point stuff. But like look at that. That's that's 10 rounds of that snipe subsonic 60 grain stuff. Like, like my thumb pretty much covers all of it. So that's not bad at all. And then uh, this is that Hornady 22 LR, that 40 grain like 1070 stuff. It's, uh, that's, that's shooting pretty good. I mean, that's, that's a dead gopher eye almost every time. And then here is the uh, Hornady Varmint Express, the high velocity stuff, or well, the 1180. I wouldn't really, I don't know if you like really call that high velocity or whatever, but it's that plated hollow point. So, I mean, that Hornady stuff, that. It's pretty good and then uh, we got the federal punch now I don't know if it's uh, going for groups 
or if it's going for the adage of more holes and more spaces equals more stopping power. <laughs> That's a bit of a joke. Uh, and then we have the, uh, the Winchester silver tip, the other defensive stuff. So, I mean, I really can't complain with this gun. It's, uh, it's been pretty good. So, what I am going to do is I'm going to load up 25 rounds of that cellular ballot, and I'm going to rip and just have a little fun. So, we'll do a little, uh, we'll do a little fun mag dump here at the end, just for you guys, for sticking around and watching. Just hang tight. Alrighty, we're gonna do a little 25 rounders, a couple of them. We're gonna go as fast as we can. And let's see what kind of hole we can make. Ah, uh, load. Well, that was uh, that was fifty rounds done rather quickly. So uh, I'm gonna go grab that target, and we'll be right back and have a look. Alright guys, well that was the 50 round target, so I'm shooting a little low, a little right, but that might just be me, I was just kind of going fast, so, but the ability to keep most of the rounds on target is actually kind of impressive, this gun has a nice recoil impulse, it's easy to shoot, um, like it just, I, I don't know, like even offhand, it's uh, it's pretty slick like I uh, I quite enjoy shooting this gun like a lot it's uh, I don't know it's just something about it like yeah I don't know it's just easy to shoot it feels nice in the hand you grip, holds nice. Like I took that riser off, I didn't need it. So I can get in, get tight, and just really feel like I've been control this gun. So uh, anyways guys, thanks for sticking with it. I know it's a little bit of a longer video, but I know some of you guys kind of want to see what, how it shoots with ammo, different ammo, like different ammo weights, and kind of see what kind of groups you're gonna get. Like, like, I honestly don't know if a stock Ruger 1022 is going to do just as, as better than that with a red dot as a semi automatic. Not to nothing done to it. The only thing like I've done to it is literally put this faux suppressor thing on and the red dot. I've taken it apart once and cleaned it. I mean, that was another 150, 200. The gun's got probably, hmm. Might be getting close to 500 rounds through it now. Be right in that area, so. I mean, most of the stoppages you guys have witnessed personally in my videos, um, very minor. If you want to even call that a break-in period, like, I don't even know what a break-in period for this gun would be. Like, it might be a thousand rounds, or it might be a hundred rounds. It might be 200 rounds. Like, even this one mag is definitely getting a lot better. It's still a little tight when you're loaded, you can tell, but... Buddy shot it the other day, flawless, 
loaded it today, definitely could tell, it like it just goes, 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 and all of a sudden it gets tight, and you just like have to push, and it's like once you get past that, it's like, it has like this weird little spot right in here where it just doesn't wanna, like just, I don't know, just maybe the angle's wrong on one of them or whatever, but this other one, the other mag works perfectly fine, it's beautiful. But I remember I was having little issues with it feeding, and, uh, but now I haven't had any issues, so, you know, I got this thing on sale. They're like regular price at pretty much anywhere you can find them in Canada. It's like $5.99. This is like the Gen 2 with the full uh, uh, foreguard or handguard, which I think looks way better. I love the I love the white. I know they came out with the, the distressed red. Uh, Canadian edition one might, I don't know, the green and the blue and the black and the FDE one, like they look nice. The fit finish is good on them. I mean, I'm I'm honestly considering maybe getting another one just uh, just to see how it compares. But uh, we will uh, we'll see. So far, I'm a, I'm a really really big fan of the Dairy TM22. Um, you know, if you're thinking about one. I'd take the plunge if I were you. I uh, I got really no complaints. Other than like, other than my mags are a little pricey to replace or whatever, but everything's expensive these days. So, uh, I mean, if they had a better way of not having to take the rail off to take it apart, that'd be nice too, but I mean, that's why I set my, my optic up right here so I can still take this off, put it back on. Should be, hopefully it keeps zero. I guess we'll find that out. But I'll probably just run a boar snake through her and call her good and get out to go smack some gophers. So gophers are not going to smack themselves. So, But anyways, uh, thanks again, guys. I really do appreciate all your support and uh, yeah, take care. Cheers.